their triple jumper is moving up the board, so that's helpful. As we get ready for the final in the women's 3,000, Caitlin Tui, who is in this race, set that collegiate record this year. Jenny Berenger, now Simpson, has the meet record. 12, 16 athletes in two sections or sectors. There are the competitors on the screen. They will stay there until they hit the finishing straight for the first time. Three North Carolina State Wolfpack runners in this final. And two doubling back from the earlier mile. Maya Ramsden of Harvard. And Amina Matug of Duke coming back. And it wasn't that long ago, Lara, that the mile was run. Not at all. 13 of the 16 in this field earned cross-country All-American honors just this fall. Of course, Caitlin Tui among them. You mentioned that she's the collegiate record holder. She is going for her second title of this championship and her fourth NCAA title in 10 months, Dwight. Olivia Marcus at check up Notre Dame in the lead. Field a little bit bunched up. So early in the race, as we come around with 14, 13 now laps remaining, let's step aside for a couple of field events. Dan, three jumpers over 14 meters in a collegiate championship. So Jasmine Moore just keeps getting better and better. And now she really is a triple jumper who can contend for world level medals. Back, like back to the 3,000 meters with coming up to six laps remaining. And you like what the Alabama duo is doing right there up front, starting to push the pace a little bit. They took it over from Markezich of Notre Dame. And then also in the mix, worth noting, Taylor Rowe of Oklahoma State. She is the reigning champion in this event. I talked with her head coach, Dave Smith, about coming into this field as the reigning champion. And he said that last year, they had to convince her about two days out that she still even wanted to race. She was just filled with all sorts of nerves and self-doubt. And really, she came in seated about the same as she was last year, but she's run faster. So she's in great position as well to be in contention right there up front. Worth uh, wanting to point out as well, West Virginia's Kaylee McCabe, the outstanding Canadian steeplechaser, coming into this event fresh. So one of those who has the advantage of not having all of the altitude already logged under their legs and in talking with the coaches and how the altitude affects you. We've seen a little bit of this. It's not a gradual fatigue. It's more like falling off a cliff. That's why you see such an instantaneous impact when you start to see them feeling that uh, altitude and the detriment. Caitlin Tui has come into the lead now. Mercy Chilenga has paid the price for going up and slowing the pace down. She's dropped back to sixth. Hilda Olamamoy, the Alabama runner right behind Caitlin Tui. And then Taylor Rowe up there in third place. Starting to see what Caitlin Tui does so well. She is an excellent tactician in race strategy. And here goes Taylor Rowe looking to challenge Caitlin Tui right there up front. The last back-to-back -back winner in the 3000, Abby Diagostino from Dartmouth. That was 2013 and 2014. That's Kelly McCabe of West Virginia in fourth. But the top three are Tui, Rowe, and Olamamoy. Chalengat is now back in about eighth position. And Tui, we saw her yesterday. She has an outstanding finishing kick. But it's always better to be the hunter than the hunted, even though she's gapping Rowe ever so slightly as they'll come around with two laps remaining. NC State coach Lori Hennis said that Caitlin's turnover has been on, a, on another level. They believe that strength is speed. She found a lot of new strength in that cross-country season, which finished with the NCAA cross-country title. And here she goes, kicking it up. What we have seen from Caitlin Tui over the course of her collegiate career is just how comfortable she has become winning races and getting into position to win races in a number of different ways. In high school, she was always a front runner. This time, she was incredible strategic as she comes up on that bell lap. Taylor Rowe looks like she's still trying to hang in there and maintain contact. But Tui just keeps adding meters to her lead and she certainly looks fresher and better and less affected by the altitude than does Taylor Rowe. Final lap. And it's Olivia Markazic who led early back into third place. Olamomoy back to fourth. 
but it is all Caitlin Tui. She won the 5,000 meters last night with an outstanding sprint over the last several laps. And she just keeps extending her lead here in the 3,000. Caitlin Tui of North Carolina State, the senior, will be a double champion here in Albuquerque. And Marsikic comes up for second. 9-11-61 for Ali Ostrander at altitude for Boise State back in 2019. And Tui runs 9-10-07. Her last indoor championships as a collegian. And it looks like she's the only one from North Carolina State of the three in the final to score. The coaches that we've talked to describe Caitlin Tui as just a generational talent, and she exemplifies why exactly there. She goes championship in both the 5K and the 3K, the first woman to do that since Carissa, Carissa Schweitzer of Missouri back in 2018. And that's something that will thrill John. He loves to hear a Missouri athlete's name being spoken. Caitlin Tui wins it in 9-10-07. Olivia Markazic right at the end gets second. Taylor Rowe, the defending champion, finishes third, and John is with the champion. I am with the champ. Right now we've got a hair tie uh, situation, but we'll get that. Uh, I can talk. You can talk even then. Yeah. Okay. Uh, first double at three and five since Carisha Schweitzer, and I imagine that's a better double than second and second. Yep. Uh, your thoughts on how this race uh, developed and how you decided to control it? Yeah, we talked about it beforehand, and um, we talked about going with the K to go, and I tried to take the lead and got held off a little bit, but stuck with it, squeezed it down every lap, finished hard, and. Yeah, it was really, really good. A lot better than last year. Size up the year for you so far. You got a cross country championship, now two indoor titles. Just uh, how it's been so far as we're getting ready to go to the outdoor season. Um, it's been awesome. Uh, I've had a really good year with the girls. So, yeah, we're looking forward to outdoors. We got Raleigh relays coming up. We're hosting, hosting ACC's outdoor again. So, we're looking forward to run fast in Raleigh. So, it'll be a good outdoor season. Cross country champ, three and five champ. Oh, why, by the way, Dwight didn't run the mile, but I did set the collegiate record in that as well. Congratulations. Thank you. Dwight.